Hey guys, my name is Savnare and welcome back to the Talos Principle. Now I have to admit, I've been having a lot of troubles with this game, both in the game and also recording it. Um, it turns out, I don't know why, but if I've been recording for like more than like 40 minutes, the game, the, the recording starts to lag terribly. So let's, let's begin it. So... I've been having a lot of troubles with it, so what I did, it, it was like stressing me out a lot because I don't want to keep giving you guys subpar quality and I certainly don't want to keep apologizing for it either. So what I ended up doing was just sort of taking a break from recording it. So what I did instead, unless I'm wearing glasses because I just couldn't be bothered to put in contacts, but um, I ended up completing the first world, essentially. Uh, so you'll notice in the top left there, you'll notice I've got um, a lot more sigils than I had last time, and I also have 12 stars. So hopefully the videos, you know, hopefully I'll be able to get like a quick video out there and not, not worry about too, too much. But, um, so I went ahead and did a whole bunch of this because it's just, it's the same thing. It's really just essentially the same sort of thing. It's, it's, you know, you, you guys know all of the, uh, all of the objects that were used here. It's just different configurations of the same thing. So what I wanted to do though, what I wanted to record and show you guys, my, there we go, is I wanted to see what was going on with the stars. So I wanted to, um, essentially, you know, just progress with the game that doesn't require like story or anything and then just do this part, essentially. So I want to know what this is, and I wanted to show you guys, like, take you through it as well. Um, one thing I will admit, I did not cheat at all on any of the red sigil puzzles, but I did end up cheating on the stars. Because this, the, the red sigils are, uh... There we go. So the, the red sigils are essentially, um... You know, what, how smart are you at this one particular puzzle? But the stars are a lot different in that they can be hidden literally anywhere. Oh, this should be no. These can be, they can be hidden literally anywhere. Uh, what can I, uh, did I fuck myself over with this? I might have. Uh, hang on. Mmm, this? Oh, almost. Almost. Hang on, hang on. This, uh, hmm. Hang on, we almost got this. Here, no, here, no. Oh dear. Well, this, uh, this. Uh. I'll talk about the stars in a second. Hang on. First, I want to do this. Uh. Heck. Oh, these are these are really deceptively tough. Actually, there we go. Let's 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 start with that, shall we? Here and here, and then uh, did I get it? No. Oof. This and damn. Can I? Got it. Excellent. Okay. Ooh, we've opened it. Ooh, excellent. Yes, yeah, so they used that permanently used our uh, stars. Okay, so I, I will have to get more stars. That makes sense. I wasn't sure if the stars were u were reusable. So now we have three gray sigils. I'm interested in that. So let's talk about the stars though, because I can't necessarily talk and do this at the same time. So the stars were literally anywhere. They could have been anywhere. They could have been in the overworld. They, well, they're not in the overworld. They could have been in the world A, B, or C, or in any of the individual puzzles themselves. And you could, there was, it was like a no rules, no rules sort of thing to it. Whereas sometimes you had all of the answers within that one puzzle, but often you didn't and you had to break the world in some way, or you had to, you know, take a laser beam from here, beam it up there, beam it down here, beam it across here, and then go like, it was, it was very difficult to do, but I, there were a few things I did learn, and I'll show you guys them if I remember them. So let's go on in a set. Let's go on here, and we'll talk about that after we see what goes on over here. I'm really curious about this. What have we got? Ooh. This- whoa. Seven and two asterisks. Okay. Okay. Oh, interesting. So it's just more world. All right. Interesting. This will- this will make a nice video, so I'll take a look at this in a second. Um... So I, I discovered a couple of things, or I was led to, I should say, I was led to, I looked up a couple of things. One, there are things hidden in the world. There are things hidden, just like this. Like this thing here. What is this? Ah! Fuck you. It's a mirror. Fuck you, it's a mirror. Okay. That's a mirror. 
Okay, so like this, this exactly is a perfect opportunity to discuss something, right? This, not visible, not visible to the naked eye. There is shit like this hidden in places. And this is not, um, God, I look terrifying. Also, I am shorter, whoa, I am shorter than my reflection. Can we talk about that? I am looking straight ahead and I'm looking at my own collarbones. That's a little strange. Uh, anyway, so that's me. I don't know where there's a mirror there. Unless I have to reflect something, I probably will. But there's shit like that. So that one in the- oh god, you guys didn't see it. I didn't- I ended up scrapping that footage. In the last episode, in the last- what would have been the last episode, um, there was a- uh, a star hidden- you've seen the star before, actually. But there was a star hidden- yes, I see those. Oh, hey, a paint bucket. There was a star hidden, um, and there was a switch for it, but the switch was, like, on the other side, hidden behind, like, bushes and stuff. So there was- it was- there was stuff hidden in ways that I didn't like. It's hard to describe without actually having any, uh, uh, footage for you or any explanations for things, so I think I'll try to go back and point things out that I didn't necessarily like or enjoy or agree with in this game. So, that's the sort of thing. So what is this? It feels as if I've been struggling with these problems for days. Did you take so long? Well, it's Bergiolo again. Few come as far, but I believe we must seek out the secrets of this world if you want to truly serve the generations to come. What can I say here? Bridgie, what can I say to you? Uh, I added a bunch more of these as well. So, I added a bunch more messages. I feel like I've been struggling with these problems for days. Oh, there's that. This is more to this place than it seems. I've seen things you could only imagine. Don't bother going any further. I'm way ahead of you. Uh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna hold off on this. I really want to hold off on these paint buckets for a little while. There was also another interesting thing I found in one of the worlds. Oh! Is that another axe? There's an axe in here. This implies- can I take this through here? No, I can't. Okay. And interestingly enough, you can actually point lasers and jammers through this barrier. Like, lasers will go through it, you just can't physically take objects through it. So it's a physical barrier, but it's not a, um... A barrier, a functionality barrier, essentially. And that's sort of interesting. So, like, that took me a while to conceptually realize, I guess, was that, that I didn't have to go up and over, uh, these issues. Oh, hello. Okay. Ooh. All right, well, I launched myself into Dumb Dumb Mine. Okay, with an axe. I now have an axe in here. Can I do something with this? I bet I can take keys in here now. Um, can I use this on this door? Nope, door is locked, okay. Uh, so that was, that was a, um, oh, there's the keys. So that was a revelation, was that I didn't need to, uh, like, launch, uh, lasers essentially over walls or something, which is what I thought I had to do for a lot of this, which is where I was getting gummed up in a lot of the, um, the, the puzzles, the extra puzzles. So what the fuck can I do here? Did I screw myself over by not doing this properly? No, this is just here. Okay. Do I have to take something from the outside world in here? It appears... I appear to need a jammer. And I don't have a jammer. So let's go find a jammer, I guess? I'll have to find a jammer in the overworld. Okay, I don't want to... I have to leave this axe here then. I can always reset this puzzle though. I can also... I believe I can reset the entire world. So when I do that, it physically resets the entirety of the world, not just whatever puzzle I was in. So now the axe should be wherever the hell that axe was over here, I think. Uh, yeah, the axe is back over there, so that's good to know. And there's this little launcher thing, wherever the hell that launcher thing is. I've already lost it. Big, big deal. Okay, let's, let's go about this world. So these are just difficult. These are just difficult. Oh, hey, what are you? That is a jammer. Good, that's a jammer. I need that. I've, there's a couple jammers. Nerve Wrecker. Nerve Wrecker? Was that what it was called? Nerve Wrecker? Nerve Wrecker. Yeah, okay. So, what are we... What are we nerving? Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. Um. Let's trap these guys out here, shall we? Okay. There's another one of these. Uh, mm, I have to do this quickly. I have to jam this. Grab this guy. Can I get through here without... I can, actually. Okay. And now these guys are off sync. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I see what I have to do here. So I'm gonna jam this and grab... Oh, he's stuck there. Perfect. And grab this one. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, God. Unjam it, unjam it, unjam it, unjam it, unjam it. Okay, good. Ah. And now I have to repeat that. 
essentially in the same way. So jam you, run through here, uh, jam this from the other s- oh god, oh god. Is he in the way? Yes, yes, and that one's also- ooh, good, okay. Can do. So this is jammed properly, so I can leave this open. Good. And then scoot my way through here. Uh, jam you. Uh, good. There we go. Okay, we're getting it. I'm getting it. I understand. And then- oh, Fuck! Ah, oh, damn it! But you get what you gotta- we get- yeah, you get what we gotta do. God damn it. Oh, that sucks. Here. 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 Uh, here, actually. Oh, that was dumb. Patience. Patience, patience, patience. Oh, I can't get between these. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, I can't get- Ugh, I can't, Okay, so I can't get between them. Good to know. Good to know. Same thing here. I gotta move this one. Oh, God. We'll jam it. Unjam it. Good start. Jam you. Grab this. No, we gotta jam this. Oh, gosh. Oh, I can lead him. I can actually leave him over there. We'll do that. We'll trap them both over there. Patience is a virtue. I gotta be quick about this. Ha 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 Now you're fucked. Now things get much easier. Now it's gonna stay like that. Boom. Wait for you. Oh god, scoot. Scoot in here. Grab. Oh god, here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, damn it! Oh god, fuck! Oh, okay, this is just timing. This is just timing. We can do this. We, we know, we know how to do this. We just gotta do it. Oh, we can lead him through again. I'll do that same thing. I'll just lead all these guys through here. And then they'll just all be over here. No, don't come back. Ho oh, ho ho ho. Don't come back through here, sir. Thanks. Shut up. Uh oh. Nope. Oh gosh! Really? Oh god, it drew me to it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. No more talking. We're just gonna go through this. Actually, I'm gonna turn off the recording. Okay, ooh, alright, hopefully that's recording. Okay, so, huh, apparently I'm close to the end here. So, god, I've just totally broken my entire, uh, concentration, damn it. Uh, I was recording with Dextery and then decided it wasn't gonna let me uh, record with Dextery anymore, so is this free, uh, so I am now recording with Bandicam, so hopefully I didn't screw anything up. We'll see if this works any better, any worse. I don't know. I give up on this game. It's fun to play. It's shit to record. So we'll just we'll just go on with this. Anyway, I've managed to trap everybody over there that I can. This dude's doing his thing. This dude's frozen by that one. And I'm about to wander over here and attempt to not die. And hopefully I won't die. That would be super nice. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't recorded with Bandicam in a long time. So let's see what we got, shall we? So I can open this freely, but I kind of want to... Yeah, I want to open this freely. Bam. I don't want to let this guy go yet, which is my my less less than happy time. So he's gonna to come towards me, which is a little shitty. So I gotta scoot immediately out of the way. Woo, like that. Okay. 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 I gotta scoot through here. Uh, jam you. Well, this. Jam this, and then grab this. Come on. Uh. Okay, 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 and then j that's it. I got it. I got it. Okay, we got it. Woo, okay. That is it, ladies and gents. Oh, okay, we got our first one of these. Cool, you gonna say anything hello him? Six, that must be the sixth floor. I'll bet that's the sixth floor of the, uh, the thing we're not going to go visit. Okay, okay, yeah, I saw that. Anything else here? No, nothing? Nothing else? All right, that was fun. So that was, that was, okay, so that was, this was procedurally difficult, but not conceptually so. I can deal. I can deal with that. That's fine with me. I realize I'm not even remotely in screen. Uh, cool. So that was... Oh, this gate opened. Alright, cool. All right, there's the first of our gray puzzles. Not terrible. Not terrible at all. So, wait, where could I launch myself into? Which one was I able to launch myself into? Shit, I don't remember. Ah, heck. Well, we'll, we'll find it again, I'm sure. But I just... Oh, wait, the fan was over here? The fan is clearly here. How do I get into the fan? Uh, hmm, here perhaps? This, oh heck if I remember. Here it was. So there's the fan and it launches us into, oh, Dum Dum Mine. That's okay, so Dum Dum Mine is the one I can't do without a, uh, a jammer or something yet. Okay, can deal. Oh, select that coat. And there's our jammer. 
All right, cool. How do I get that then? Mm. How do I get this? How do I get there from here? How do I make you see? Uh, I can't get up there? Do I have to launch myself from somewhere else to get up there? Do I need a box? Uh, there's an axe. This is, this is dumb dumb mine. Uh, what is this? Nothing. Okay, is there a fan to launch myself out of here? I could, thankfully you can hear them pretty easily, so. Mm, and I don't. All right, well, that's that's a thing we need to do at some point in our lives, I suppose. Whew. Whew, 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 whew. What can I do next? All right, let's pick another one. Let's go over here. This looks fun. What are you? I, oh God, I already went through this one. Why am I having trouble finding these? Why is it so big and sprawling, too? This is needlessly sprawling. Okay. Here. Jammed from within. Always good. All right, well, there's our sigil. That was bright and purple. Those are keys. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. And there's the lock. All right. This seems simple enough. Jammed from within. There's a jammer. Uh, there's the jammer. Are you gonna come? You sure are gonna come all the way over here. Oh, balls. I am fucked. Ooh, that was fun. Okay. Okay. So how do I get past this this fine, upstanding gentleman then? Uh, oh, wait, he's over here, so I can go this eye. I can scoot around this way. Okay, that's not hard. But now I am stuck here. But do I need to be unstuck here? I do not know. Mm. I can just go that way. I like that for now. I gotta wait for this guy to pass, though. Help. Oh, uh, can I get past him? Can I get past him? The answer might be no. Oh, wait, no, I can let him go through there. That is fine. And then deal with him after. Boom, okay, cool. Do this and scoot through. Okay, oh, there's a, there's a, a ladder over there? Okay. Hmm. Let's see what's in the ladder, I guess. It's the only way to go. Hup. There's the keys. There was another one of these guys here. Here he is. Oh. Okay. Oh, good. There's a jammer here. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna trap you guys here? I think I do. Hup. There's one. Trap him over here. Good. And then do the same with the other guy. Alright, I can deal. I can do this. This is not hard. I kind of like this, actually, this redirecting these guys. This is... it is a puzzle. It is, it is technically a puzzle. In the puzzly... oops, shit! In the puzzliest sense of the term, it is certainly a puzzle. Um... It is not as thought-heavy. Well, we've talked about this. It is not conceptually difficult. And I guess the conceptually difficult ones I don't agree with. So, I don't know what I'm getting at here, really. There was a red flash over there. Was that just me? That might have been just me. Um... scute. And then here. Here we go. Perf- Oh, Almost perfect timing. We'll try it again. I believe I can do this. Here. Yeah, there we go. Cool. And then I get to- Oh, I don't get to keep this. Because I gotta open that, but that's- I think that's everything. Boom! Except now- Oh, where is the gate? I think I have to re- Oh, no, here it is. Is this the correct gate? This does not appear to me to be the correct gate. Why is there another set of keys? I don't like this. Why can't I just go back this way? Yeah, why? Oh. Oh, okay, so I need specific keys for specific things. That explains everything. The door is... Where's the door? Uh, am I dumb? Is the door... Oh, there's the doors behind me. What am I doing? I don't need this. There we go, that's the door. In fact, I need this here, so that was perfect timing. Uh, here. Oh, hi, friend. Excuse me, sorry. Are you on a diagonal path? Oh, you are on a diagonal path. Okay, I can dig it. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you gonna go... You're gonna, you're gonna come directly back. Shit! You're gonna come directly back. Oh, you're gonna do the same thing. Oops, excuse me. Okay, and then just, just do exactly what we did to make our way back. I can deal with this. This is okay. Yep. Help. Alright. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah. Okay. Excuse me. I'm gonna take this. Uh, where to next? Don't run into shit. Um, uh, mm, this way. Hupa. 
Okay, there we go. Leave that there. Jump over here. Alright, this is not so bad. This is not so bad. Yeah, so... Hmm, oh. gotta scoot through him. Okay, I can deal with these. The only one I can't deal with so far is that one where I have to launch myself and grab the thing. Okay, oh. And here. Uh, yes? No? Uh, ooh. Where is it? Wait, um, here? Ah, oh, fuck, I'm lost again. Must be over here then. Uh, oh, excuse me. There you are, right here. And this must be the correct key? It sure is. Okay, not bad. Nice. These have interesting levels of difficulty to them. Cool. And Elohim has not said anything. He yelled at me off screen, off camera, before, um, telling me you're stupid, want to try something else because you're not getting this right. Uh, and I said fuck you and I did it anyway. I think there's only three here. Yeah, there's only three here. Wait. E is this saying either way? Also, the fan is- oh, the fan is straight through. So they're- they're- they're just straight up telling you. So what do I do with the axe? Oh, I just- oh, they're fucking right there. It would help if this entire world wasn't in the same, like, two colors of, like, red, like, earth tones and green, which is also an earth tone. Thanks, that took a while. Let's switch these two, excuse me, okay. So this was, I don't know, maybe this was supposed to be teaching? Well, no, because you've already learned that, that idea that, yeah, you're, uh, there we go. You're supposed to have broken the world by now, so this is supposed to be old hat for you. Uh, this. Help. Hi, friend. Um. Grab anything else in here? Probably not. Oh, there's a thing over there. I'm gonna take this with me. I hope there was nothing in there, because fuck if I'm gonna check it out. What was over here? Nothing. Fat loads of nothing. Okay, I think this ran into the tree. Was that what it did? I think it did. Okay. Okay, can deal. Can deal. Yeah, you're gonna run into the tree? You sure are. Good, I'm glad that tree is there. And that opened. Good. Okay, now we can progress in this world. Oh, I like this. Is there another one of- Fuck you. There's another one of these fancy, uh... No, but there is keys. 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 Okay. What did Savnery miss? What am I missing? What am I missing? There is something that I'm missing. Oh, wait, no, I have a key. What am I doing? I have... What, how do I have a key? Uh, wait. Did I get a second key somewhere? Maybe I should just try these doors instead of just being a fucking idiot. Can I step through here? Not really. Okay, sorry. Um... Did I require a second one of these? Did I have a second one of these? Can I find a second one of these? Oh, what the fuck am I supposed to do here then? Well, let's bring the axe into the world. Why the fuck not? We can. Let's do it. Maybe we're supposed to. Where'd the axe go? It's over here. Okay, and where's the fan? Is here. Hyup. So now we're in here. Now we have the axe. Uh... Can it do any good? I don't think I can break anything in here. If you see any wood panels, guys, shout out to me, will ya? Here, and here's the axe. Can I cut down that tree? Oh my god, I can cut down that tree! Holy shit, I can cut down that tree. I get it, I get it, I get it. I can cut down this tree. I sure can. Whoa! Okay, I didn't realize I could cut down this tree. That's actually what I have to do. That's cool! Holy shit! Oh, that was cool! Oh, I get it! Oh, that was cool! Okay, why did I never put that together? Neat, I'm gonna have to cut down this tree, too. Cut down all the trees. Why the fuck not? Because it's gonna take us a while. Okay, well, new concept learned! We can cut down trees. Cool. I like that they disappear, too. Cool. Uh, is that it? I think that's everything that's in the way. Okay, now we have to lead this dude over here. Okay, yeah, now I get it! I am beginning to understand this game and its concepts. Okay, I can deal with this. I can sort of deal with this, I can deal with this. I get it when it when it's when it sort of makes sense like that. And then this, and I have to open this one as well, and then just let him let him do his thing. Got it. Cool. Okay, I like this. I like that idea. Where it's it's the the answer is there for you. Nothing is hidden. Yeah, it's just gonna run into that tree, too. Where nothing is actually hidden, it's just like a new concept. I'm not a huge fan of the fact 
that it doesn't really tell you you can do that. You just sort of have to stumble. That's you have to stumble on it yourself. That's exactly the problem I have with this game. You have to uh, know this stuff or learn it for yourself. It doesn't tell you what to do. Boom, there we go. It doesn't tell you what to do. You just sort of have to understand it yourself, or guess it, or stumble upon it accidentally. And I don't like that as a concept. Good! So there's all three of those done. Cool. All right. And that was unlocked by a bunch of stars. Not bad. Let's go take a look at the terminal over here. Uh, and see what that has to say, and we'll call it an episode. Hopefully, it's been 45 minutes. Hopefully, it's not going to be 45 minutes here. Hopefully, the game is still recording nicely. God, I hope it's recording nicely. We shall see. What do you want from me, friend? Ooh, got a bunch of stuff here. What's 6N whatever? Okay, download.email. Email. From out the Ooh, lots of stuff here. I think I have an idea. Oh, God, that's going to gonna suck, too. Oh, God, I have to manually type all this shit in, too. All this bullshit down here at the bottom of the screen. Each individual number, I have to type those in to uh, translate it for you. So I hope you guys are appreciative. From Alexander Drennan to Nomadic Mailing List Subject NML Telos Principle. Have you heard of the Telos Principle? It's this old philosophical concept about the impossibility of avoiding reality. No matter what you believe, if you lose your blood, you will die. Oh. Is that what that's about? That's not what I got from it. I think that applies to our situation more than we'd like to admit. We could close our eyes and pretend that everything's going to be all right, but it won't change the physical reality of what's going to happen to our... <laughs> that's gonna be on the screen for you guys, so I'm glad you guys get to read it before I do. I think that as scientists, it is our duty to face the truth and to ask ourselves the most important question. How can we help? Lots of long thing here, another big long thing there. I think I have an idea. And there's actually some scrolling here, and there's actually more shit here. Okay, good to know. There was some scrolling I missed, apparently, in other things, because I didn't notice this, this scroll bar here, which is the exact same color as everything else. Because this is nothing if not a great user interface. Anyway, uh, humanblood.txt? Sure, this is creepy. It is said by some that our blood is composed of infinite living agents which go up and down the highways and byways of our body as people in the streets of a city. I don't know what that is. It cool... something. One generation passeth away and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. I wonder if that's Ecclesiastes, the um, Bible book. Ecclesiastes. Function. Function. Okay. And the sleep of the town, how lifelike, with its change in the circulation. Butler Samuel, we are misled by considering any complicated machinery as a single thing. In truth, it is a city or society, each member of which was bred truly after its kind. What? This is just like a, a bunch of these, and they're all kind of accidentally mashed together. Where's my mouse? There you are. Okay, archive important email. Uh, from Arkady Chernyshevsky, University Error 4731, to 504 recipients. Woo, subject archive. I'll keep this short. You all know me, so you know that I, so you know that I know what I'm talking about. We, I, we, uh, we already had this. I, well, no, but we had something like this. It certainly started out this way. I realize that you're all working on projects meant to somehow avert the catastrophe we are facing, but you all must concede that there is a very real possibility that you will not have enough time to find a solution. I believe that we cannot afford to ignore an extinction or near extinction scenario. We must prepare for the worst. That is to say, we must seek to preserve the non-biological components of what constitutes the human species, in the hopes that they be recovered in the future by other local or non-local sentients. I know that we are not used to thinking on that scale, not in terms of praxis. But if we truly value humanity, then we will... Uh, well, shoot. Then we will must act immediately. You'll find the details of my proposal in this attachment, but the short version is this. The creation of multiple archives for redundancy in safe location that will contain in digital form as much information about our species, including all cultural works, scientific insights, history, DNA, as can be gathered in the given time frame. They were talking about this, right? Um... Alexandra Drennan was talking about this in her logs, uh, that this shit is flooding in from all over the place and we have to archive it as fast as possible because things are going down as they're coming in and we have to make sure that we get as much of it as possible. Interesting. This will naturally be massive global undertaking. Will EL, with EL naturally being one of the error cannot find attachment. Oh, interesting. And finally, whatever this held, the image, oh, oh, that's the tower. Ooh, that scared me for a second, so that's the tower. Good to know. I don't know what that means. 
six N star star. Oh, 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 I get it. I get it. Oh, I get it. So this is the, uh, the N star star, N being seven star star and six being the number of our sigils. So that must be like the top of the towers unlocked by the sigils found in the N star star worlds. Maybe? I don't fucking know. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, yeah. So, that was fun. That was the entirety of this world. Okay. So, you gonna say anything to me? No. Okay, cool. So that's it. Alright, cool. That was this world. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other worlds. If you guys want to see this, you guys can look it up online. Or, um, you can... Maybe I'll try it. Maybe I'll try it and see what happens. I'll try, um, going through some of the Egyptian world and seeing what happens. I'm not gonna bother trying to f I'll, I'll try, try to figure out some of the, um, the stars on my own. Uh, honestly, it's not worth my time, I don't think, because I, I, A, I don't work that way, I don't work that smartly. Was this new? Was this new? This must be the tower we were warned about? No. And this was also not new. I'm afraid of the tower, this will be terrible inside it, never think about it, don't even look at it. Oh, there's one more thing I wanted to do. I was curious about one thing, and that was this thing back here before we before we uh, end this episode. I want to take another close look at what this was, because I didn't know at the time what this blue uh, blue flower, whatever the hell I called it was. Uh, this. There's a star here. So somewhere, there is a blue uh, giver or something. Maybe? Is there one in here? Yeah, no. So somewhere from here... I can't see from the roof. Maybe from over there, from there... From somewhere, there is a blue laser that we're gonna have to guide in here to get this final star. And I'm definitely gonna look that one up because fuck if I know where the hell that is. It's probably gonna be beamed down from the tops of the tower. Um... That, yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode. Alright, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I have been Savonary. This has been the Talos Principle. I'm sorry that this is ending up the way it is. This, 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 uh... Uh, game is gonna be this disjointed. I didn't intend to do that. I obviously didn't intend to do that. I didn't want to do that. But I just, I can't keep giving you guys subpar shit quality. I just realized that there's the, the statues, the headless statues here. The sphinxes over here. Uh, are they sphinxes? The lions, whatever, over here, and the angels over there. That's kind of cool. So that's, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. I will see you guys in the Egyptian world. We will go through the, um, the sigils. Maybe I'll, I'll do some of them and I'll see what the footage looks like. If it starts to lag on me, I'm cutting it. I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to stress myself out about this. If, if, if I cannot deliver a an up-to-par quality episode, then I'll just go through this stuff myself and deal with it on my own, and then I'll show you guys uh, the, the star, sigil, whatever's, um, and any plot related to stuff. So anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.